Oh, can we guess what I'm doing? Yep, engine run test stand. Decided to show you this little interim step. This is what I'm welding for the control panel that'll weld on the engine run test stand. I'll show you what I've been doing on it. Let's see. If all these hands. I'll bring you back. All right, I'm back. I had to unclamp it. So, took uh, this uh, tube steel and I welded them together and then on the end, you know, because you have an open end, people stick their fingers in there, their sharp edges. They'll get cut. Crud will get in there. And then there welded it. So that's not going anywhere. All I had was this heavy gauge angle iron. I didn't need stuff that heavy. But that's all I had laying around. So welded that in there. And so the gauge the instrument panel, I got some quarter 20 screws in four corners. Let me see if I can hold it up. Probably not. I have to grab it somewhere else. Ooh, still a little warm from welding. So that's it. The instrument panel will be there. And this will get welded on the radius of the engine run test stand. And mission control, yeah, my control panel will be here. Push button and other goodies I'll show you. What it won't have that we know is it's not going to have a water temperature gauge. Oh. Let's get this welded on and paint it up so you can see the finished deal. But I wanted to show you at least this interim step where I've been welding it and uh, getting things welded in. Okay, I'll bring you back on the final reveal. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Well, control panels in there. I got a label and wire. But that's kind of what I came up with. The doghouse, you know, comes up to about right here, this level. Or so welded it on the back came up off here um yeah started rebuilding the motor I had the camera on a tripod I thought I hit record but I didn't so I was gonna do the fast forward thing everyone does showing me build it turned out I didn't push the button hard enough and didn't record. So I built the motor on the engine stand and transferred it over here. So the block was in good shape. It came out of a 74 Super Beetle. Uh, low miles. I put new 85.5 millimeter maul uh, cylinders and pistons had valve job done on the heads crankshaft uh, crankshaft was in good shape had a micro polish on a crankshaft grinder uh, new cam stock cam lifters 
uh, of course new rod bearings, main bearings, cam bearings uh, new oil pump I got a new front pulley it's a new distributor and I got a new fuel pump too um, so I'll try to capture the video of building it the rest of the way so this is basically uh, I guess you'll get to see me on the next motor too drop the crankshaft in and assemble it uh, the valve covers I just got snapped in place I need to set and double check the valves I'll show that process so man there it is engine run test stand got a good start on a motor need to wire the control panel and all the switches so I got the battery I'll get a gas line hook up for the gas so there we have it woo hee always wanted one of these man I've hit it hard my old feet are legs are done so I doubt if I'll put another video up before Christmas so you guys all have a wonderful Christmas I'll probably put one up between Christmas and New Year's so there we have it one engine rebuild Stan we'll see you later bye